So like a little over a month ago, I recorded a video about how to make a light mask and how to use it using DXT BIMP or BMP and uh, paint.net. Well, uh, it took me a good few hours of searching um, because GIMP is the open source replacement for Photoshop. And there are a lot of people that use it. And I know it's a powerful tool and I had to figure out how to make light masks in GIMP. And while the colors are easy to do, green, red, and blue, the alpha always escaped me. But now I've figured it out and I'm gonna show you. Let's check it out. So here we are in GIMP. Uh, this is the latest version, which is uh, about GIMP, let's see, 2.10.24. So I've opened a an image, a PMG, which has uh, a transparent layer, which you can tell by, um, or a transparent background, which you can tell by n there's no color behind this. Um, this is from one of Habdorm trailers that he was using. So. As you can see, I was doing a couple of things here in the background to make sure I still remembered what I was doing. Um, so this particular um, file is something that we're going to use for our trucks or whatever, whatever the, the case may be. Um, you've got a blinker here a marker light with ABS, which really isn't a light in this case because we don't have that functionality. If the brakes fail, we don't have the ability to make that come on. Here's another marker light. Uh, here's another marker light and a white marker light here. And these are just color, uh, black and like a, probably a chrome or an aluminum color. We don't really care about these too much here. Uh, it's more about the lights. So we're going to do a couple of things. Uh, the first thing is we're going to show you how to make an alpha layer overlaying what we have here. So we know that we need uh, red, green, blue to signify our colors. On this particular trailer, you're not going to have any blue because it does not have reverse lights. Um, so you don't need to worry about blue. So what we're going to do here is select add layer mask. Now this is going to come up with this screen uh, and I have selected grayscale copy of layer. That's very important. That's exactly what we're looking for. Uh, any of these other things make it more difficult to work with. So done. Now everything starts to go like really gray because the alpha layer is a transparent layer over this so it's showing you what that looks like um so we can disable it and turn it back to its original format this is again right clicking and then um disabling the mask and then right clicking and showing the mask and this will show what is underneath or what in actuality overlaying the colors of this here so um, this is nice because all of this now can be marker lights without too much trouble. Uh, a couple of things you you might want to do is select this area and brighten it just a touch. Um, again, these are things that you're going to have to fine tune as you learn how to kind of do it yourself um, and what the game is looking for. So I've copied the layer. I deleted the colorized portion of it uh, because we don't need the colorized vo version of it for the <clears throat> for the light mask because we need red and green not orange and all these other colors so what I'm going to do is select the lights make sure it's on show layer mask over here I'm going to go up here to select all then copy visible and then <clears throat> copy, 
create a new layer. And then you can paste right there. And then you want to anchor it in position. So now we have a grayscale portion as well as the this here. So we can edit this as we like. Um, for all intents and purposes, we can um, we could do a lasso around this. Um, or a selection tool, ellipse select. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. And then in there. We can increase the lightness of that um, to help with our colorizing of that. Um, and now we can deselect. Okay. So that's a pretty good color there. Um, again, it's all going to be something that you're going to have to kind of work through as you go and figure out what needs to be what color and how bright things need to be for them to show up in your light mask like you want them to um, stuff like that you could even go in here and make nope that's not what I want uh, do an ellipse select again on this because this is the LED part and then make that even brighter than the rest of it you could um, go up here like this, select this again, and do a, um, invert it. So invert it from the darkest it was, um, which would make it even lighter. Uh, there's a whole bunch of ways that you can go about editing these, uh, before you put your overlay over. So um, now we're going to create another layer up here. Um, you can again change this afterwards. I'm going to do um, overlay like I did in the other. And now we're going to select. Um, we're going to do no selection. And then we're going to again cover this area and since this is the rear lights these are going to need to be alpha for marker and then red and green for red for blinkers green for brake lights so now what we're going to do is we're going to select a color uh, and we're going to go in here to red and green, which is going to be yellow. Now we're going to fill this layer yellow, and that's what it's going to look like. So now you can play with the layer a bit, uh, go into the properties of the layer. And you can say, no, I want it to be multiply. Okay, how's that look? Um, you know, that looks a little bit more reasonable. It's not quite as bright. Uh, maybe you want it brighter. It depends on what you're looking for. Now, why is that yellow? Well, because that color includes both red and green if you look in here. So red and green are maximum 100, 100 on RGB, and that's what we're looking for. Uh, that makes sure that there's no blue in there. It's zero. 
Um, if there were blue in there, then you would have a reverse light, um, which we don't really want on a red light. Um, this, I believe, was red. So, nope, that's orange, sorry. So that's an orange light. It's going to be a marker. Again, that orange marker is going to be covered by the um, this down here, which is the uh, alpha layer. So we don't need to worry about that. So what we can do is we can black out everything that we don't need. So we'll end up cutting it out. Um, this is going to be a blinker. So on the inside portion, um, we'll probably have to do a scissor select, and I think that's only ellipse. Okay. So it'll probably be a little bit, you know, arc here in my selection, which I think is what I did last time. It's just kind of an ellipse in here inside this. Uh, this way we can say the inside is going to be the blinker and the outside is just going to be the marker light. Um, and that's, again, that's personal preference. It depends on what it looks like in real life and how you want to get, you know, how close you want to get to what needs to happen. Blinkers are red. So we're going to pull the green all the way back. And then we're going to bucket fill, make sure we're on this layer still. Okay, so that's how that looks. And again, all of these rest of these are alpha, so we don't need to worry about them in any capacity. Um, what we can do, however, is go to this layer and we can fill in with black. So we can do a rectangle tool and we're going to have to avoid this down here. You know what? I'm going to even do an ellipse tool because that's going to help us out in this case. Like that. And we can just go right here and fill that right in. And then deselect it. And then the same with that over there. This is a rectangle, so we can just cover this right like that. And then this over there. And now we have this here, so we'll have to black that out. So we'll have to select um, the easiest way probably is going to be something like this. And then invert selection and then fill. Oh, that's not right. We don't want to do that. We want to do we want to keep that, so we gotta do this. And then press the plus sign. Oops, that's not going to work, is it? I'm holding um, shift to add another section to this, another selection rather.
poorly, mind you. Poorly, I'm doing it poorly. Here's the trick. Gotta move that up a little bit and that over just a little bit like that. So now we're going to invert select and fill black. There we go. So now on the inside, you're going to get the inside of this light, you're going to get the blinker. And then on the outside ring is going to be the alpha where that is. Um, going to be the, uh, the marker light. All right, so now we have this here. We're going to merge down. So now these layers are two. We don't have any overlay over it. That's just how it looks. Uh, we're then going to select all. Copy visible. Go down to the other layer here and turn off the layer mask. Make sure we're editing that. Yes. Paste in place. Merge it down to the lights. And then we're going to show layer mask. So that's what the layer mask look like. Looks like all of these things are available to be marker lights. Um, we do need to erase this part of the marker light up here as we added it down, as we added it rather to the um, turn signal. So we're going to go in here like this. Again, very rudimentary here. You could really nail this down a little bit more accurately if you wanted to. I'm just doing this for just to show you what it would look like. So then we're going to delete that. We're going to fill it black, I believe, is what we need to do. Uh, bucket fill black. So now when we do that, it shows the open hole where the red will be. I think that actually should be black. Uh, it should be deleted is what it should be. Delete like that. There we are. So we get the red coming through. So that's a few different steps. I'm sure there's a quicker way, but uh, right now I don't know it. It's basically turn the everything into a... Um, Turn everything into a grayscale image. Um, and then you're going to, again, right click, create layer mask, or add layer mask, and bring the. And I can do it from this one right here again to show you. Add layer mask, grayscale copy of layer. That's very important. That's exactly what we're doing in this. Um, that's all the alpha layer is, is a grayscale. Um, color of whatever you want to show up as a texture on the light um, and then you go from there so uh, now you can use this as your texture for your light mask into blender or zmod whatever save it as a dds save it as a tga um, and then write your tobjs and off you go now when you press the brake light or turn on the lights it's going to have that texture of the alpha in the background and not just a plain white uh, or solid orange or red color. So hope this uh, video helped you guys um, and uh, looking forward to seeing what you make with your light masks. See you for the next one.